Today is March the 2nd, 2024. This is Carmen bringing you your daily Bloodborne Remaster update. No news on a Bloodborne Remaster today, but I've been continuing FF7 Rebirth. I'm like 34 hours in now, and oh my god, I'm like about to go to Corel Prison, and the game just keeps getting better and better. It's better than I could have ever dreamed. Oh my goodness, I'm going to try not to fangirl. There's no, there's no gaming news today, but uh, before I end this, I'm just going to say... Man, FF16 is in the mud compared to Rebirth, man. It's not, it's like, it's literally not even close. And you know, you have the Twitter people who say it's not fair to compare the two, which, you know what? You know, you're totally right. It's not fair to compare two games made by the same company in the same franchise and the same genre hitting the same audience with a similar budget coming out on the same platform eight months apart. It's totally not fair to compare these two games. Idiots. They only, they only say this because they know Rebirth is better in every way. Come on now. But yeah, the game, like, it, I keep waiting for there to be like a catch because sometimes it's linear and sometimes it's open world. And I keep thinking, okay, something's going to give at some point. And it's just, I haven't had that yet. You know, I'm in the third big zone and it's like, I just, the linear areas feel good and the open world areas feel good. The combat feels good. The mini games, except Fort Condor, feel good. I mean, I guess it's like the original. Everybody hated Fort Condor in the original, too. So, yeah, it's just... Man, I don't even know what to say. Uh, I'm not going to fangirl for too much longer. I'm going to get out of here. But yeah, thank you, Axel. No news on a Bloodborne remaster today. I can't get enough of Rebirth, man. I just... I'm addicted to it, straight up. Uh, that's been your daily Bloodborne remaster update for February... No, not February. March the 2nd, 2024.